We've done a lot of work on our strings so far, but it still doesn't sound like we've made much progress. Well, trust me, the building blocks sound a little weird, but the end result is really nice. Let's continue on. We already have a little bit of oscillator A working in this patch. Now I'd like to refine its role within the patch. First, I'll switch the shape to sawtooth. This will give a nice hum to our work where we already have a lot of sine wave and square wave. Next, I'll raise oscillator A's attack slightly to about a tenth of the way up. I'll also raise the decay one and breakpoint slider all the way up. As well as the release to almost all the way up. About 90%. Now let's take a listen. Just by shaping the way that oscillator A modulates as well as sculpts through the envelope makes a massive difference. It already sounds much better. Let's go ahead and add in some oscillator B now to thicken things up. I'll take oscillator B's shape a little bit past a triangle wave. So it's got a little bit of the sawtooth characteristics, but it also keeps some of the smoothness of a triangle wave. We're essentially mixing many different shapes to get a much more complex patch. I'll also detune oscillator B slightly by taking it down to 59.92. This will help add some more thickness to the patch. Before we start sculpting the envelope though, let's add in the oscillator B position modulation source. We need to be able to hear it, right? Let's take it almost to 12 o'clock. This will add an ample amount of presence and a good amount of contrast to the dullness of these strings. See? Much brighter. Let's take it even farther though. Now would be a good time to add a little AM modulation, a unique feature of Scanner XT. This would help accentuate the already present modulation helping us to add that bowing effect produced by violins, viola, etc. We'll raise the AM slider in the mix section a tenth of the way up, and then turn the X2 knob, which applies squaring to the modulation signal, and we'll put this to two o'clock. We'll keep the AB knob in the middle. By keeping this in the middle, we'll use both oscillator A and B as AM modulation sources. Alright, so far, so good. It doesn't exactly sound real yet, but we have plenty of tricks left. In the next video, we'll continue on by adding in a little delay and filter.